Hello and welcome to another opportunity to attract the life of your dreams, to manifest what you want to manifest and to raise your vibration sky high. And today I want to combine the teachings of Abraham Hicks with my own teachings and with some recommendations of Dr. Joe Dispenza. So today it's a mixture of different, yeah, different philosophies, different strategies, different techniques. And I want to show you how you can manifest with the emotional guidance scale. Because when it comes to manifesting, your emotions are so, so important. That's why I always say, feel your affirmations, feel it. It's not just about writing them down and then saying, I'm rich and wealthy, oh, I will attract love, yeah, I'm rich and wealthy, oh, I'm healthy, yeah, yeah, everything's okay. There are no emotions in these words if you don't feel them. But if you say, I am rich and wealthy, I am joyful, I am happy, I am healed, I am so whole, if you do that, then things can change. And that's why in my hypnosis sessions, I also focus on helping you to not only let go of resistance and let go of all the limiting beliefs that you still hold, but to also at the same time, or let's say after that, to then reach the frequency of what you want to manifest. Because only by reaching the frequency of what you want to manifest can you become a vibrational match to what you manifest, or let's say to what you want to manifest. And then when you become a vibrational match, then you can attract it in your life. Then you can draw it towards you. And the first step towards that and towards your manifestation goals is to become aware of your emotional state wherever you are and whenever you can. And when it comes to emotional states or different emotions, Abraham Hicks has an amazing emotional guidance scale. And when it comes to Abraham Hicks, I mean, Abraham Hicks is a teacher that I discovered when I basically discovered the law of attraction. I think I shared this story in the past before, but I want to share it here very briefly again. When I was completely sick, not being able to walk, lying in my hotel room and asking myself, why is this always happening to me? Then the universe brought me an Abraham Hicks video on YouTube, even though I had never Googled anything remotely related to that, remotely related to spirituality before. And my first thought was, what the heck is an Abraham Hicks? <laughs> and then I dived in deeper and then one thing led to the other. And today I want to show you how you can use this emotional guidance scale to manifest and how you can switch your emotional states in a way so that you can reach a higher vibration and that you can reach a new level of consciousness, but also that you have the chance to become a vibrational match to what you want to manifest. So the first step that you have to take, or that I invite you to take, is to become aware of your emotional state, wherever you are and whenever you can. Just tune in, check in with yourself. Am I relaxed right now? Am I at peace? Am I joyful? Or am I stressed? Am I anxious? Am I fearful? Just become aware of your emotions. At this stage, you don't want to change anything. And even more importantly, you don't want to judge yourself for having these emotions. Even if you now stumble upon the Affirmation to Manifestation podcast, and for the last five years, or maybe even the last ten years, you were in an emotional state of negativity, fearfulness, anxiety, hatred, desperation, even if that's the case, try right now to not judge you for being in this emotional state. And I know it's easier said than done, but always remember right now is the perfect time to change your vibration because your past vibration led to the experiences that you have today and your vibration today can lead to an amazing new future. And if you change your vibration today, your new vibration can lead to an amazing future and incredible experiences in your future. So just check in with yourself and don't let any emotion you don't want to feel pass by unnoticed. Whenever you feel anger, just recognize I'm feeling anger right now. I'm feeling anger. Okay, I recognize it. Right now I'm feeling angry. And then ask yourself the following question. How do I have to feel in order to draw the experience that I want? to me. And that's the idea behind becoming a vibrational match to something. Because if you are trapped in anger or in hatred or desperation and you want to manifest love, you want to manifest a loving relationship, you want to manifest loving friendships, you want to manifest more money, no matter what you want to manifest, you have to become a vibrational match. But by being in this low emotional frequency, this low emotional state, you are far, far away from what you want to manifest. 
But don't worry, just because you're far, far away right now doesn't mean that you're far, far away tomorrow. And it also doesn't mean that you won't get closer and closer and closer every single day because you're slowly reaching a higher state, a higher emotional state. And that's what the emotional guidance scale is all about. But more about that in just a second. Just remember right now to ask yourself the following question. Whenever you're feeling a negative emotion, how do I have to feel in order to draw the experience I want to me? So in other words, how do I have to change my emotional state? What emotion do I have to go away from? And what emotion do I want to walk or swim or fly towards to? And that's how you can become a vibrational match. And of course, by reprogramming your subconscious mind, To reach this frequency, this process can happen faster, which can make it easier for you to feel these emotions, to then become a vibrational match to the frequency of what you want, and to then manifest it. And if you want to know how I can help you with that during a hypnosis session, you can go to affirmationtomanifestation.com slash hypnosis, or click on the second link in the description. And then once you've asked yourself the question, how do I have to feel in order to draw the experience I want to me? Then identify the belief patterns and the trauma responses that are currently holding you back from reaching these emotions. And this trauma can be something that happened to you recently, can be something that happened to you in the past. It can even be something that you're not even aware of. That was the case for me for a long time. I mean, I wasn't aware of the fact that my heart surgeries that I had as a little baby actually led to a certain trauma in my life. And it took me a couple of years of self-destructive behavior, of manifesting terrible experiences and terrible emotional states, until I finally embarked on a trauma healing journey. And I truly believe that because of my own trauma healing journey, a lot of the amazing people who have invested in the 11 Days to Manifestation Mastery program have specifically written me thank you emails for the Trauma Transformation Audio Course, which is one of the free bonuses that you get if you invest in the 11 Days to Manifestation Mastery program. Because trauma healing is so important and a lot of people, especially a lot of men, don't do it. Because, well, boys don't cry and man up and you don't talk about your emotions. Women are way better at healing their trauma and healing their emotional issues than men. As a man, I wholeheartedly admit that. Of course, there are also women who don't do it, But in general, women are more open to the idea of working on their emotions, at least according to my experience. But hey, as Dr. Joe Dispenza always says, when the heart of a man opens up, then it really breaks wide open. And then it's a really intense experience. So no matter if you're a man or a woman listening to this, your trauma healing is important. And the first step is to identify the belief patterns and the trauma that actually caused you to feel a certain way. And sometimes, like I said, you're not even aware of it. I mean, the number one trauma that I had to deal with and that I overcame, that I wasn't even aware of that it can manifest in trauma, is that my twin brother died during birth. And only years later, when I had the level of consciousness where I could finally address this issue, I then had the craziest experience during a Joe Dispenza week-long advanced retreat, and, well, that changed my life forever. And by the way, I will also be at the Dr. Joe Dispenza week-long advanced retreat in London in August this year, so maybe we'll see each other. And then once you have identified these belief patterns and you've healed your trauma, or at least you started working on healing your trauma, and you are aware of these beliefs and why they are stopping you, then you can reach for an emotion that's vibrating a bit higher than the one you are currently experiencing. And that's now when I want to introduce Abraham Hicks' emotional guidance scale. And you can agree with all the individual emotions or you can disagree with them. I just want you to get an overview of the principle. I want you to understand the principle and the idea behind it. Different people have different opinions on the individual emotions, on how far up or how far down they are on the scale, but that also doesn't matter that much. It's more about the principle behind it. It's about the idea. And according to Abraham Hicks, and also according to me from my experience, the best way you can shift your emotional state is to do it step by step. If you are, for example, in an emotional state of jealousy, hatred, revenge, anger, discouragement, blame, worry, which are all lower emotions, then it will be very hard for you to go immediately to joy and passion. You can experience it in a very intense meditation, However, by simply trying to change your vibration without diving deep, without reprogramming your subconscious mind, it's nearly impossible. And that's why so many people give up. 
But what if you could reach for a higher emotion that's just a little bit above the emotion that you felt before? So for example, when it comes to that emotional scale, and you can look that up also, you can Google guidance scale Abraham Hicks, emotional guidance scale Abraham Hicks, you will find it. But I just want to now mention very briefly the emotions from the lowest emotion to the highest emotion. Fear, grief, desperation, despair, powerlessness, insecurity, guilt, unworthiness, jealousy, hatred, rage, revenge, anger, discouragement, blame, worry, doubt, now we're getting a little bit higher, disappointment, overwhelmment, frustration, irritation, impatience, pessimism, boredom, and now we're getting even higher, contentment, hopefulness, optimism, positive expectation, belief, enthusiasm, eagerness, happiness, passion, joy, appreciation, empowerment, freedom, love. So let's say, for example, you are a pessimist. You are really pessimistic. Then you could reach for the next higher emotion. And you can say, huh, I'm not that negative anymore, but I'm still bored with my life. And then once you reach a state of boredom, then you can reach a little bit higher and you can find some beauty in life. And then you have contentment. And at some point, you will then be hopeful and you find hope that your life can change. And then you will turn from a pessimist to an optimist. And then at some point, if you continue your manifestation journey, you will believe and then you will at some point reach the emotions of freedom, love and joy. So move up the emotional guidance scale step by step and... Use Dr. Joe Dispenza's principle, gratitude is the ultimate state of receivership, to make the upwards move even easier for you. And now we combine the teachings of Abraham Hicks with Dr. Joe Dispenza. Because if you are grateful, if you appreciate things in your life, and if you become more and more grateful and filled with gratitude every single day, at some point things will shift. So use every small shift as a way to celebrate. Be thankful for every small emotional shift that you're experiencing, even if it's just one second. Just like you should celebrate every small manifestation, I would also recommend to celebrate every small emotional shift. And if you want to dive in deeper about how you can master your emotions and your emotional state with or without Abraham Hicks' emotional guidance scale, then I recommend that you have a look at Module 6 of the 11 Days to Manifestation Mastery program. And like I said before, if you decide to invest in the 11 Days to Manifestation Mastery program, you will also get free access to the Trauma Transformation Audio course that can help you and that already helps so many people with their trauma healing. And if you want to find out more about the 11 Days to Manifestation Mastery program and all the bonuses that you get completely for free, you can go to affirmationtomanifestation.com slash 11 days. And if you want to find out more about my brand new hypnosis sessions, then you can go to affirmationtomanifestation.com slash hypnosis. And if you decide to invest in the 11 Days to Manifestation Mastery program, you find a coupon code on your product download page that then allows you to get the first hypnosis session or any first coaching session that you will have with me for only 100 euros. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please send out some love to the YouTube universe by giving this video a big, big thumbs up. And I would also appreciate it if you would leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think about my video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to click on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I release a new video for you.